.NET 8 is here, and that means .NET MAUI has a bunch of goodies built right in. Now, I made a video recently about all the new things in .NET 8 for .NET MAUI, but I wanted to give some hands-on little quick tip tutorials on some of the features. So today, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite features, which is keyboard accelerators for desktop applications. And we made a video previously about how to add these menus into your application, you know, file, edit, view, help, those type of menus up top. Well, I'm going to show you how to add keyboard accelerators so your users can easily access all of those awesome menus that you've implemented with a few keystrokes. So tune in. Hey everyone, I'm James, and today we are going to introduce some new features into our .NET MAUI application, specifically for desktop and keyboard accelerators, those little keyboard shortcuts that are so, so nifty. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Now, I've already made a video on migrating your existing .NET MAUI apps to .NET 8, and here we've added some new features that were introduced previously, such as this context menu here. So we have this all fly out, we have open, save, save as. Under new, we have a sub flyout menu here. So we have new project, new file, new class, new, new, all the new stuff and all these other menus here. Now, one feature that was sort of missing that is now at introduced in .NET 8 is keyboard accelerator. So having your users simply have a keyboard shortcut, you know, control N, for example, might be pretty nifty here. So it's a click around a whole bunch. Um, so we're going to go ahead and introduce that into this application. So I'm just going to stop debugging. And here is my flyout menu. Here's that file, the new, the file, class, open, all these things. We have nice little separators, all that goodness. I'll link to my other video um, already that shows you how to introduce these things. But let's add some keyboard accelerators. So on any flyout item that you want to add this to, all you have to do is add another node in here. So here I'm going to say menu, menu, flyout item, dot keyboard accelerators and you can have as many keyboard accelerators as you want but we're going to add one and there's two specific things that you want to add first is going to be the modifiers that we have here and modifiers are specifically the keyboard precursor to whatever thing you want to add so of course you could have just like an f1 for example as your key but if you want them to say alt tab or alt commit alt two or alt three or control N or control P or, or anything, right? You can do that. And then you can see there's a none option here as well. So um, here we're just going to go ahead and we're going to say control and you can obviously access and add multiple modifiers. We're going to add one modifier and then we're going to add a key of N. So you can add any key that you want. There we go. Control N. So that is going to be our control new on this new project. And if I wanted to add it for a new file, maybe control, you know, F or whatever, control C, control and then or something, you know, you know, here, uh, I guess, you know, I'd have one key. So M over here, whatever these are, control O, control S, you know, you can have these modifiers inside of here. So here we go. I'm just going to go rerun it. I've added just two lines of XAML right here, which is super nifty. And now we'll see when our application opens up for us. If I zoom in here, we can see that there's automatically the control N modifier on here for me. So new project control N. So that's pretty nice. Now, if I just tap on it, it's going to call the menu item clicked, uh, which I had in the code behind. But if I just come in and just do control N on my keyboard, same exact thing happens, right? So that's really nifty. I'm saving my users multiple key, uh, you know, clicks on their mouse. So they can do control N boom, and you're totally good to go. So this will automatically add this in there for you, which is super duper nice. So that way you can really add these power features to your desktop applications and dot MAUI. Now, I might be saying, James, well, what if I'm not writing it in XAML here? What if I'm creating this in the, the code behind? Well, no problem. And I always get flack for this sometimes. I'm just going to delete that modifier right there. So we're back to the basics, OK? Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the code behind for this file. Here we go. And in the constructor or wherever you're creating your, your UI, what you can do is you can uh, go ahead and access it by name. So I have menu item new. So of course, you might have created it here, for example. So I'm going to say menu item new dot. And you guess it, keyboard accelerators. And I'm just going to add one. So here you can add, you can remove, you can do a bunch of stuff. And then I'm just going to say new, uh, oops, new keyboard accelerator, um, just like that. And I'm going to add it in. So here I can have the same exact thing. I have modifiers. So I can say, let me just go ahead and add the keyboard modifier control. And then I can go ahead and say key. And I'm just going to say N, just like that. 
And now when we run our application one more time, uh, what we're going to see is we're going to get the same exact functionality, but I'm creating it here in the code behind. So whether you want to do it in XAML or you want to create it pragmatically, you're going to be all set and good to go. All right, our application is loading. I'm on this widescreen, so let's put this down. We can see here, control N again. I'm just going to do control N. Bam, just like that. We are totally good to go. All right, there you have it. Keyboard accelerators, AKA keyboard shortcuts for your .NET MAUI desktop applications. I'll link to the previous video uh, where I showed you how to do all those cool flyout menus and all those things. And of course, I'll put a link to the coffee sample, which went through that full .NET MAUI migration from Xamarin Forms. I have a video here on the channel how I did that. And it's been upgraded now to .NET 8. So you can take a look at the change log and see all that goodness. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. If you like these quick tips in and out, stuff like that, Give this a thumbs up. Let me know what else you want to see. Have me cover right here on the channel. I appreciate all of you for subscribing. If you haven't yet, jam that subscribe button so you get up-to-date notifications every single time I put out a video here on my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, have a good one.